this in a hospital. I was in a hospital, I was looking, and there was a small piece like that with the story of Jeanne. Uh -uh. Just very short, but very fought. And that made me feel, hmm, frisson. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I went, I phoned my publisher, and I said, can I make us a book, a roman of this? And she said yes, without question. She just said yes. And that was very unusual because normally she would say no. And I would have to encourage the publisher, sell it. This time it was yes. And it came out forget me not in uh, 1990, in 18, alors, c'est parti de. Elle était à l'hôpital, elle a lu un magazine dans lequel il y avait un petit article sur Jeanne. Et ça lui a donné des frissons, ça l'a ému, c'était tout court mais très fort. Et euh, juste après, elle est allée voir son éditeur et elle lui a demandé « Est-ce que je peux faire un roman sur Jeanne ?» Et tout de suite, son éditeur a dit euh, « Oui, sans, sans, sans poser de questions. » C'était très exceptionnel parce que d'habitude, il fallait qu'elle vende son sujet, qu'elle vende son prochain livre. Et là, euh, son éditeur a dit « Oui, tout de suite. » Voilà, c'est oui, parti de oui. ça. C'est une forme. Bien, bien. Donc, so, so the, the start is not Modigliani, but Jeanne. Oh, this one, yeah. this, the story, the story, and then um, I, I was very taken by the fact that he was so successful. He just sold a, um, a painting for uh, two million, and um, I s compared what he'd just done now in 1989 with 1920, and. There was a difference. I thought this is a tragedy. It's a thing of timing. He was before his time. Donc, vous est-ce est que le temps plus fort, c'est le succès qu'a eu Kevin Modigliani, euh, par exemple en 89, où une toile se vendait 2 millions et a comparé ce prix euh, avec euh, le prix de 1920. Et il y a une différence énorme. Et elle dit c'est comme un rendez-vous manqué, en fait, une histoire de mauvais timing euh, qui rend une histoire d'autant plus tragique. And then I found that I knew people who were still alive who were in the Cartier uh, with Modigliani at the time. This was incredible. They were very old, but they were still alive. So she knew people who were still alive, who had lived in the same place as Modigliani, who had lived in the same place as Modigliani, who were still alive, but still alive at the time. Especially one, um, Marika de Riviera, who was the daughter of Diego Riviera, and a painter called Marevna. And she was, I, I knew her years ago, she was a good friend of mine. And I knew Marevna, and Marevna did paintings of Modigliani. She was very close to Soutine and um, Riviera, um, and Modigliani. And so I had information from there. Also people in Paris, so the, the secretary of Jean Cocteau, Who was still alive? He was 92. I mean, it was the first people who knew new things.